So what happened was with Dr. King was when he came up when he came up with the civil rights bill that was uh, emancipated by Lyndon B. Johnson, president. Dr. King said there's something wrong. This is like it's equivalent to inviting some somebody into your house and they start a fire. But he was the guy who could have corrected that bill that he started. You know, he just said he made a mistake. He didn't say I needed to end it. But shortly after, they put a bullet in his throat to make sure he can reverse his decision or, or change the direction that they needed to go in. But the concept of life in America is this. Steve Jobs had that problem. When you come up with a new idea, and Larry Flint, they're going to make an assassination attempt in your life so somebody could take over your your idea and, and take it to level. They got to cut you out of it. What they did to Steve Jobs was they did not him cancer treatment. They got him in the same position they got me. Larry Flint survived a bullet wound to his spinal cord. He survived it, though. But he wound up being put on heroin. He narrowly survived. And so Dr. King, same thing. He created a civil rights bill with the help of other people. But other people saw the thing they could do with it in the black and mislead people, but they had to get them out of the way. And still, all in all, Dr. King was a master decider of how that bill really worked. And he also could like updated it, improved it, and touched on it. But they liked it the way it was. And But he did make that comment after that he shut him up. Jacob Hoover did the same thing with the FBI. I started, it was called Code Pro Intel, right? And so what he did was, you know, he's a spearhead of that operation. He's dead now. And after he died, these younger FBI officials took it to different levels and got my father out of his real estate, got me out of the house with the Winthrop staff, and that's why I'm suffering the way I'm suffering. Once you got once you got to be sharp to explain one day if you survive this shit, if some kind of a panel comes along and says, "Go ahead, we we gonna deal with the FBI son of bitches," but that's why I'm on near death because they want to get they want to take my money to get the fuck like I'm dead, cut me out of everything. And I told you at the last second, God will not let that happen to me. Now I expose as a Black Panther Party member, the Federal Bureau of Investigation's little op scheme operation through New York State. You got to be sharp. Got my eyesight left.